The root optimization is applied primarily in freight transport companies. They argue that it's not enough to have quality and optimal products in terms of production cost. It's also necessary that customers can access them at any situation and anywhere in a quickly and effective way. Making an analogy with the famous game Snake, we assume that the cargo truck is the snake and the delivery point will be the target node. This game has been used to test algorithms about route optimization based on the difficulty about the points to reach in a two-dimensional space are randomly set. In this project, the problem is the route optimization in a three-dimensional space, applied in the game Snake 3D. Implementing neural networks was helpful to solve these kind of problems. This provides the possibility to give to the artificial intelligence system a low computational cost. Just as humans have neurons to capture stimuli, analyze them and generate a response, artificial neurons behave the same way. In our case, stimuli to be captured by the neural network is the distance between the snake and the target node, and the response generated will be the direction to take for the next step. The ability of the neural network analysis will depend on its structure and the learning method. Our neural network has a simple structure, composed by three input neurons, six neurons in a hidden layer, and six output neurons. Inputs are defined as existing errors in each of the dimensions between the current point and the snake's head towards the target point. There are set six output neurons numbered from one to six, to the fact that there are six possible directions in a three-dimensional space. One hidden layer composed by six neurons. Each of the output neurons represents a direction. The output neuron, which presents the highest excitation, will determine the direction to be taken by the snake. It's not enough to have a good structure, it's also required a good learning method. The proposed method is a genetic algorithm that is responsible to tune properly the weights of the neural network. When a baby is learning to walk, he reinforces the actions that allow him to maintain balance and discard those that produce falls. Likewise, our intelligent snake learns from the mistakes made and strengthens the decisions that generate a better route to the objective. Here is where the genetic algorithm plays an important role program in MATLAB, which generates random vectors that represent the weights of the neural network. Each of the vectors generated are evaluated taking into account the following optimization functions. Highest rated vectors are combined to generate a new population of vectors, which means that the neural network evolves to be more efficient. This procedure is repeated as many times as needed based on the number of populations to find a vector that allows the snake to take the best decision at every step. Finally, it's obtained from MATLAB the vector that got the higher rate through populations in order to implement the neural network in Arduino. There is just one thing left for us. It is finding a suitable display to watch the snake. For this, we created a LED cube 16 height, 16 length, and 16 depth. This has an Arduino Do, a stage of flip-flops and demos, a stage with wheel allows to control the 4096 cube leads, just with few pins of our Arduino card. In it, we can see several images and animations based on the effect of persistence of vision. Here, we took advantage we designed an Android application where we can choose the animation, 3D drawing, or even play with the snake manually. And, of course, we can see our snake play by itself because of its neuronal network.